creature exists above the heads. Good night. Night night. Hey little sister, I've got a scary story that's better than that one. I'm scared. I don't want a scary story. Mm -hmm. Wait, I thought I put you to bed. And what are you doing in here? I told um, you to go into your room. Um. Uh, he, he's reading me another bedtime story. And I'm scared. Scared? Yeah, I'm scared of lots of things, Mom. I can relate. I'm scared too sometimes. Stories help. These ones are Not scary. scary ones. And I'm scared. I remember that I'm proud of a story way bigger than just myself. Well, God's stories have a lot of people who are sometimes afraid. Well, you know, I think I have time for one more story. We'll make room, Mom. You're okay. It all begins in a town called Nazareth in a place called Galilee with a woman named Joseph is is troubled by Mary's news that she is to have a baby. Luckily, an angel visits him in a dream and tells him with certainty and care to not be afraid. Be not afraid. Mar Mary's going to have a child. You will name him Jesus. Hmm? Wow. Huh? I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry Mary. And we're going to have a baby. And we're going to name him Jesus. I need to pack. Elsewhere in the Roman Empire. Citizens of Rome. It is I, your Lord and Savior. Good shepherd, light, way, and prince of peace. Caesar Augustus! First, I'd like to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you and you and you and you and you. There's never been an empire as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. And you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I'd like to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so you can all pay me what I'm owed. Go to your hometown and register your family. Show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my little children. May you know my magnificent work. In order to satisfy the imperial command that all individuals return to their ancestral towns, Joseph and Mary undertake the long journey to Bethlehem. Finally, this baby is not going to make, wait much longer. Where are we staying? Ooh, did you get a room at that nice inn I like? 
The one with the good continental breakfast? Um, not exactly. It was full. Oh no. What are we going to do? Sleep outside with shepherds? Stay in a stable with donkeys? What? No! Who would do that? Joseph, <laughs> this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full. But I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Come along, little donkey. <laughs> okay, Mom, Mom, stop. I really don't want to hear about that birth part. Well, the Bible doesn't really tell us anything about the birth part. All it says is that Mary had the baby, wrapped him in cloths, and put him in a manger. Oh, okay. Then you can keep reading. But those are important details to remember for the next part of our story. It takes place in a field. There were shepherds living outside in the fields nearby, watching over their sheep. But they were soon... They were about to be threatened by some powerful angel messenger from God. But they would soon realize not to be So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. That was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Friends, I don't know about you, but I think we've seen something amazing tonight. I think the world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor and don't have very much power, right? I have no idea, but the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe the baby will lift up the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It sure would. I bet there's no limit to what this baby can do. Wow, Mom, I can't believe how brave everybody in that story was. Yes, all of them are brave, I think. Yeah, even though they were afraid, they all realized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Are you feeling safe and sleepy? Your story is coming to an end. Yeah, I, I feel safe and warm and sleepy now. But it's not really the end. But why not? 
She has to get some sleep or else she's going to be a grump in the morning. But this is just the beginning. Jesus is born. He grows up. He changes water into wine. He heals people. He flips tables. Wow. Yes, yes, you're right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. Tonight, let's focus on this special moment. This one night that brought us Jesus. That we might remember that God is with us. Oh, that makes sense. I like that story. God's story is unfolding with more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean that we won't be afraid along the way. Mm -hmm. But we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. Wow. Thanks be to God. I'm ready to go to bed. Night, night, Mom. Can you please take your book and go to your room too, please? Okay. Good, Good night. Good night. Bye.